Hello everybody. Um, in this video I'm just going to go over some loops. You're going to use loops a lot in VBA. Um, they're pretty useful so let's look at loops and see how they work and you can mess around with them. I'm going to write a loop that will put a value in the first uh, 10 rows of column A. So to get to the editor remember right click on your toolbar click visual basic and you'll get this toolbar that pops up on the window here um, let's insert a new module so we have a blank jewel and let's call this uh, sub loops and first thing we need to do is uh, increment rows so we're gonna need a variable so let's declare a variable with dim x remember dim is how you declare a variable as integer so x is gonna be the row and now we wanna do a loop uh, do until x is equal to 10 loop x is equal to x plus 1 and what, are you, what we now you put so this loop right here is gonna go from let's say we have to initialize it at one so it's gonna start out at one and it's gonna loop ten times or nine times and what we wanna do with that is we wanna put a value in the cells so we select the cells okay so what this will do, uh, if we just run this, it puts one in the first nine cells, nine rows of column A. And you'll see that it stopped at row nine. We want it to go to row 10. And that's because a do until will stop uh, before it gets to the end of the row you want. So you have to increase it by one if you want to do that. But a better way to do it is to do a while statement so do while x is less than or equal to a, a while loop I mean and in this case you don't have to increment it one more than your last row so if you do a do while let me just clear this and you run it you'll see that because you change the do until to a do while loop it'll loop until x is less than or equal to 10 which means it's gonna hit the 10th row when x is incremented down here it's gonna go back up and go back through the loop okay so that's a do until a do while loop um, let's look at another loop which is a, a for loop and a for loop You start out with 4x is equal to 1 to 10. Um, do this, put the value in there. But you don't do a loop down here, you do next x. And it, you don't need this x is equal to x plus 1 because that's what the next x is going to do. If you didn't delete that, let me just show you if you didn't delete that. And then you run it, you'll see you don't get what you want because you're incrementing twice down here. The next x increments once, but before that you incremented twice. You don't want to do that. You want to increment only once, so now when you run it, you get what you want, and it goes down to 10. So the best loops for this example were a for loop and a do while loop. And you'll see that uh, they're very useful, and you, you're going to use them a lot in VBA. One thing about the for statement is you can use this step uh, language. So if you do step two, it's going to skip an X. It's going to step over an X. So it incremented twice. And if you do step three, it'll do the same thing, only increment three times. Now this is something you might want to use, you might not, but it's just a, another little thing that uh, for loops do. So that's pretty much all you need to know about loops. Um, you have do while, do until, and you have for loops. And just remember, you're going to be incrementing something, so you want to declare a variable. 
to increment down rows or across columns you could you know if you wanted to go across columns we could do that here too real quick um, and we'll, we'll get a diagonal so dim y is integer and it, this is going to create a diagonal that goes from 1 1 to 10 10 the cells um, so let me just clear this and what we should get is something in this cell something in this cell something in this cell all the way down to 10 so if we run it um, oops I think we got to use a, a different loop here let's do uh, do while because the for loop can't uh, do X and Y so do while uh, X less than or equal to 10 X is equal to X plus 1 I also have to put Y is equal to X plus 1 or Y is equal to Y plus 1 okay so now I incremented X and I incremented Y I put the loop in let's run it uh, okay, so there you go. You're incrementing a row and a column, and you're going all the way across ten times. You're on the tenth row. So those are loops for you. You could do a lot of crazy stuff with loops and uh, play around with them. And let me know if you have any questions. Please comment, and uh, have a good day.